Good morning, South Jersey. Well, I wish I could say it was a beautiful morning to wake up to, but unfortunately that would be a lie. And you know, as a weatherman, I don't want to lie. On a scale from 1 to 10, I'd give it a negative 7 because it's just downright rotten outside. Right now, the temperature on the boardwalk in Atlantic City is 40 degrees. The wind sustained east-northeast at 28 miles an hour, occasionally gusting up to about 35 right now. The pressure is sitting at 29.74 inches and falling, and rain and wind are being seen throughout the state right now. So our Doppler radar, you can see lots of of moisture from snow through the Virginias to heavy rain just east of Washington DC and getting into the South Jersey area. This area of uneventfulness, I'll call it, this is the center of the low pressure and as it intensifies and moves up the coast, all this precipitation is going to follow along. I remember just about 10 days ago, I was saying, hey, watch out for what could potentially be a big storm on the 6th and 7th for snow lovers. I even had you cross your fingers. Well, here we are. It's the 6th, and we are dealing with this storm. A pretty good forecast long term. One of the ones I'm a little bit more proud of in recent weeks. All right, so like I keep saying, the winds are going to be the big issue. The National Weather Service upgraded that flood watch along the coast to a flood warning in effect until Thursday morning because of the intensive winds. We have 40s and 50s for the majority of South Jersey. I think we will see some 50s and 60s along the coast. Power outages, down trees, and coastal flooding, all a concern with this storm, especially as the storm exits. It pushes all of the water ashore. So that's when I think we will see some minor to moderate coastal flooding. We're especially looking at early Thursday morning and through the afternoon. We will even see effects through it until Friday morning and afternoon. So like I keep saying, we remain rain through South Jersey for the majority of the day, and then we will see a changeover to some heavy wet snow. The mixing to rain, which we're already seeing in some locations, is going to stay to our northwest with mainly snow to our northwest, west, and southwest. That is where the rain snow line is going to set up, and then eventually, as temperatures drop, it will be moving southeast. Tonight, there's the low. It intensifies and heads northeast. The snow bands get pushed back along the coastal communities and the rain exits. How much snow are we expecting? Well, unlike Philadelphia and some of the other stations, I have not changed my accumulation map in 72 hours now. I'm still leaning towards the lower end of one to three along the coast, three to five in, along interior South Jersey, and a little bit more west, northwest, and southwest you go because we have several factors that are working against us. Now, certainly we could be on the higher end of my prediction here if the temperatures can drop below 32 a little bit sooner it falls at a heavier pace and like i said if it starts a little bit uh, sooner with that conversion well then we could see some higher totals but not that high the snow is not going to be the major concern with this storm at most along the shore maybe three inches five inches for areas like hamilton mullica and up towards uh, Route 70s and 73. Tomorrow we are still seeing the effects of the storm. This is not going anywhere anytime fast. It's not in a hurry to exit. It begins its slow drift east northeast and we see these wrap around strong winds. Beach erosion and additional coasting, coastal flooding is a possibility Thursday into Friday. So Let's simplify it for you. The winds will definitely be an issue at 25 to 30, gusting up to 40, 50, and 60 even along the shore. The rain, half of an inch to maybe an inch in most locations. Flooding, minor to moderate along the immediate coastal area. And snow, the most difficult part of the forecast, one to four inches for most. So for today, periods of heavy rain change over to snow late, 42 to 43 degrees. East northeast winds 25 to 30, gusting 40, 50, and 60. For late week, ah, the storm is gone. And then that dip in the jet stream will be moving north. And we will see temperatures moderate into the 40s and 50s. Spring will be here soon. Keep it tuned here to Facebook. I will be updating you through the day as the conditions change. I'll have another web weather tonight around 8 o'clock. Thanks for logging on. Have a great day, everyone.